Julie joins us in Sacramento, California. Julie, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hi, hi, Ken. How are you? I am living the dream, Julie. What's going on? Good. Hey, I I have a job right now that I absolutely love, and um, unfortunately, it's part time. They can't have me full time yet. Mm-hmm. Um, and I do need to boost my income for the year. Mm-hmm. And I'm just wondering what kind of advice you have for me to stay in a job that I love. Um, I like the company, everything, but I don't see anything down the road in the future for me to um, move up forward. Okay. What do you in do right the game now? Of, what is that part-time job? Um, I My part-time job, I do tile design for a major company. Um, So it's for remodels, for kitchens and Mm -hmm. bathrooms. I do all of the design work for the company. Nice. Um, Um, Yes, I love it. I really do. Yeah, because you're a designer. I enjoy it. You're a creative person who loves the idea of combining things, creating something out of nothing, and seeing your work, somebody go, ooh, ah. Right. That's what. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, what and you, all different styles. Yeah. So, what do you make in your part-time job right now? Um, I make probably about thirty-five a year mm-hmm. in a part-time job. Okay, and you want to make another thirty-five? Um, at least. <laughs> okay. Well, so this is interesting. Um, you have told me that you don't think that the full-time job is coming anytime soon. So you know the lay of the land. So you've got this interesting situation where you can either go to another part-time job that's very creative. And it, and it, to me, it's got to be very similar. It doesn't have to be exactly what you're doing, but it does have to mm-hmm. involve that creativity where you are creating something and ideally the design because that's one of your skills. So you love the work. So if you look at how I break things down for the sweet spot, it's you use what you do best, okay? And that is that design eye, that, that ability to uh, design something from nothing, and then you use that to do work you love, which for you is creating. You know, as long as you're creating something, you've got the juice. And then the results is what are you creating that makes you happy? So think of areas where you could step into another part-time role, or do you just say, hey, I want full-time money. Yes, I love where I work right now. But the reality is, where in Sacramento, California, can I find a full-time gig that's doing something very, very similar? And so we just move right into that. So now we're making, you know, uh, that full-time money. So I think you could either add a part-time right. gig and stay where you are for the short term until you find that full-time gig. So I like any of those combos, but I don't think there's anything confusing here. And I think it's kind of simple. It's just you putting yourself out there because you're really good at what you do. So I think it's finding all the options. I think it's scary sometimes, Julie, when we don't know what the options are. But can you think of four or five places in Sacramento That on the surface, just looking, we don't know what they're offering right now, but they're making something that you could get excited about being a part of. Right, right. Can you think of those? You don't have to tell Um, me. I I can think of some. I've done other jobs, but um, where it was in sales and commission, and um, but now in that realm of the job, the competition is so tough that the money is starting to not be there like it used to be. Okay. Well, again, so, it, again, I don't think this feels complex to you a little bit, but it's really not. It com- I know, but it's not this. Have you heard me talk about the proximity principle on the show? Yes. OK, Th- yes. this is this is exactly why I wrote a book about it, because this is so simple. So it feels scary and complex, but it's actually simple. I don't know when and where the opportunity is going to pop, but I know if you get in proximity to other people that are doing what you want to do or people that are already doing what you do, you start hanging around those places, somebody's going to go, oh my gosh, Julie, you would be great for this. The opportunity is going to come to you, but you've got to get active and put yourself out there. It's just that simple because you've got experience. You're good at what you do. Yes or no? Yes, I am. And and I have had people say, oh, I might have something open. Are you open to working for me? But nothing has come to fruition yet. (laughs) Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's, it's it's, It's a game of addition and multiplication. The more people you run into say, Julie, I might have something for you, eventually turns into, Julie, oh my gosh, this is perfect timing. And you're going to go, no, it's not. This is the timing I knew it was going to happen. I just showed up. There's nothing perfect about it. I just kept showing up. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
Yeah. Yeah. So I here's do. the deal. Your homework assignment okay. is to identify three to five companies that have the potential to have the opportunity for you to work for them. They're doing what you really love to do and you can bring your skills to the table. The other thing is, the other homework assignment is, what are other types of design besides designing tile? What are some other areas that you know your experience and skills are transferable? I'd start making that list. And once we know the target list, we start talking to all of our relationships, acquaintances all the way to close personal friends and family. It's the web of connections. It's a chapter in my book, The Proximity Principle. 